Okay, guys, so this is where we're at. Look there, well seasoned. And this, you may tell us that this is going to be so good tomorrow. And see another dish here, over here, so. Woo! Damn, tell her this is going to be good tomorrow. hi guys welcome back to another episode of no takeout fridays in today's episode as you can see from the title i'll be sharing with you my crowd pleasing jerk chicken my jamaican jerk chicken so in my pan here i have approximately I have two pans here approximately 20 to 25 pounds of chicken so i'm gonna start seasoning up now so here even though i have salt in my in my jerk seasoning which i'll eat in my jerk seasoning, I must need to add some more salt because if you realize it's a lot of chicken, so I need to add some more salt to it. Alright, so I'm adding, I started adding some garlic powder to it because I didn't remember that I was the start filming. Alright, so I just adding a little, just a little bit more because I had some on there already and I'm adding a little bit to this here. Alright, about a teaspoon or so, not much. I have a green seasoning here, so I'll be adding some to it as well. And I'll have the green seasoning video linked in the description box below, so you can check down there. So I'm using a generous amount because, as you can see, it's a lot of a lot of chicken. So I'm using about a cup of it on this chicken here. Seasoned. And then I have my homemade jerk seasoning here. I wish you guys could smell it. Ah, I wish you guys could smell it. It smells so good. I'm just gonna pour it down over it. Pour it over here. Hmm? Add some oil to it to help to um so I don't have oil, so this will help to spread the um the seasoning all over the meat. So I don't have to oil to it. I bought a tip. And after you draw the cream back over my hands, I'm gonna just start with the next one. I'm gonna cut up some more paper and put on there because I think I need some more. Okay guys, so this is where we're at. Look there, well seasoned and this is my tell us that this is going to be so good tomorrow. I'm seeing another dish here over here, so Woo! Yeah, it's gonna be good tomorrow. It's the next day, about 18 hours or so. Um since it since the meat has been marinating. So I'm now ready about getting ready to start put it on the grill. Um in another half an hour or so. So what I'm doing here now I'm just moving them around to move what is at the bottom to the top and what is at the top to the bottom to you know to sort of get the seasonings moving around okay, man look at that and i'm telling you that this is well marinated all right look there don't worry at all about the fat you see there what that is going to that is going to render off um once it's um jerking because remember i removed the skin from it so um I need that on there to help with the juiciness of the chicken. All right, so I'm gonna cover it back. Right now on the outside, um, I'm starting to put the chicken on the grill there. And um, I have it on, you know, not very high fire because I, want the, I don't want the meat to burn before it's cooked. Right, so I'm just gonna place these on there. They're now all in, so we're gonna close it down and then we're gonna check back on it in another 15 minutes or so. Are right, you guys ready to see what is going on in here? Look, sorry about that, guys. Look at that. Yeah, man, as you notice, we don't have it on air because I'm not seeing the you know, whole heap of smoke coming up there. 
They might as well just moving them around and turning them so hey man, look at that big piece there uh, them look pretty though all right so i thought we have a bottle of um, red stripe and i'm going to be sprinkling it and sprinkling about half of it on here what this is going to do is it's going to also it's going to prevent them from um, drying out too much in the pan there and also add some flavor to it as well man so we're going to close it down for another 15 minutes and then check back on it i know you guys ever think for one second that i throw out all of this good marinade here because you know jack in a waste nothing because we say we don't waste nothing around here all right so this is a leftover marinade that i'll be I'm using to base the chicken with but because it's raw and we don't want to be you know any cross contamination we don't want to be using the raw marinade on the that was on the chicken raw chicken on the chicken that is being cooked then we're going to cook it down but look what I'm going to do the same beer there that I you know used to you know sprinkle on the chicken earlier I'm using half of that to um, the marinade there and I'm going to allow this to cook down for about 15 minutes and get it nice and fully incorporated and we're going to use it and base the meat up when we go back out on, on the outside all right i'm adding a little um molasses it's sticking down to the bottom so i added some warm water to sort of get it out of it all right and that's what it's looking like we're back on the outside so i'm now ready to base the chicken look at that can I see that no dryness inside all right so because it's a lot of chicken, I'm using this, this spoon here to help me to put the marinade on the chicken. So that's going to generously place this on the chicken there. I'm now using the brush to spread out the marinade all over the chicken there and get to every nook and cranny of the chicken hey man. so we're going to close down the the, um, the, the, the the jerk pan and then we repeat this process in another 15-20 minutes or so and then we cover it and leave it for another 15-20 minutes so in total we'll be jerking the chicken for about an hour and 20 minutes or so over low fire because we don't want it to dry out or anything like that all right Here is what the finished product looks like, guys. My Jamaican jerk chicken. Full of flavor. Juicy. Totally delicious. I'm so sorry I didn't get a chance to, you know, um, take any proper pictures. But that's how it goes sometimes. Anyways, guys, thanks for hanging with me today. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. See you on my next video, guys.